Hello everyone, my name is Shireen, welcome back to another Minecraft video, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Welcome to my Minecraft 1.13 aquatic update overview video. Now warning, um, the Minecraft 1.13 pre-release has been released, but obviously my, the Minecraft 1.13 itself has not been released yet, so there may be new blocks and new items added after this video, but I will definitely be covering those in a new snapshot video if there are any. But now let's just jump straight into this video and let me show you all of the important things that have been, that have been added in the Minecraft 1.13 aquatic update. And if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more. Let's get straight to it. The first thing I want to show you from the 1.13 aquatic update is this beautiful home screen we have on Minecraft. It is basically a panoramic view of the update itself. You can see sunken ships, tropical fish, coral reefs, um, seagrass, kelp, everything that has been added into this update. And to me, it's amazing. It's great to see another, you know, uh, homepage except from just blocks of grass and blocks of dirt. <laughs> it's so nice, and it's it has this really kind of relaxing element to it as well. I can honestly stare at this all day. I would be so happy to sit here and not even play Minecraft. <laughs> I should say as well that this video is in no particular order whatsoever. So let's start off with Coral. Coral has been added in Minecraft 1.13. It is one of the best blocks added in this update. You can see the variety here. So we have blue, pink, purple, red and yellow coral blocks as well as their fans which are basically coral flowers. These generate naturally in deep warm oceans in the Minecraft 1.13 update and they look absolutely beautiful. Fans can be obviously um, put on sides and on top of coral blocks and they look really really cool. Next up we have blue ice that generate on icebergs in deep frozen ocean biomes. We have a dried kelp block right here, a conduit which is used to make underwater beacons which we will get to soon. We have seagrass generated naturally in beaches and ocean biomes alike and rivers as well. Uh, we have I think this is kelp as well. I completely just forgot what it was called, sorry. And we have sea pickles. Now, I didn't do a video about this, but sea pickles generate in deep warm oceans along with coral. And in these chests, we have most of the important items that have been added in this 1.13 update. So, if you look here, we have scoots, which can be dropped by turtles when they hatch from their turtle eggs. We have nautilus shells and heart of the seas, which can be found either fishing or in a buried treasure chest. We have tridents, which is the brand new weapon in Minecraft 1.13. We have phantom membrane, which can be attained by killing a phantom, as well as the potion of turtle master, which gives you slowness and resistance, and the potion of slow falling, which can be made with a phantom membrane. We also have a few more items um, included Cod bucket, um, these fish buckets basically. So, cod, salmon, tropical fish, and puffer fish, which basically means that you can make your own aquariums now. So, instead of just fishing for 2D fish, you can go ahead and make real aquariums in Minecraft, which is really cool. We also have brand new mobs. We have cod, we have obviously spawn eggs for the actual fish themselves. So, again, cod, salmon, tropical fish, and puffer fish. We also have drowned mobs. Dolphin spawn eggs and we have fountain spawn eggs as well. And as I said before, conduits can be used to make underwater beacons, which you can see right here. And if you look at the top right of my screen, you will see a conduit power logo right there. And that's giving me conduit power, which is basically giving me hey, this is that turtle stock right there. <laughs> um, so, anyway, um, conduit power gives me haste, it gives me night vision underwater. And it also gives me infinitive uh, water breathing, so I can breathe underwater forever, basically, which is pretty cool as well. As I've said before, a number of mobs will be added in the Minecraft 13 update, and right now I'm going to show you what they actually look like. So the first one we're going to check out is turtles. And if you press this button right here, you can spawn a turtle. Turtles can be bred using seagrass. A turtle will then bury itself in the sand. It will lay the eggs on the sand and in 10 to 15 minutes that egg will hatch into a baby turtle and that turtle will grow up to be an adult. The second mob is dolphins and we can press that right here. You can see these cute dolphins that will be added in Minecraft 1.13. They will be able to guide players to buried treasure in the future. 
um, if they find any kind of item underwater, they'll actually take that item into their inventory and use it as a toy. They'll play with it, they'll throw it in the air and they'll catch it in the water as well. And the next mobs to be added in the Minecraft 1.13 update are phantoms right here. Now phantoms will only spawn at night time. They will spawn I think 20 to 30 blocks away from players and they will attack players that have not slept for at least three nights in the Minecraft. They drop leather, uh, one to four leather I think it is, I believe it is, and they also drop phantom membranes which can then be turned into the Minecraft slow falling potion. The next mob we have are the drowned mobs. These mobs are basically drowned zombies. So whenever a zombie dies within water, it turns into a drowned mob. These drowned mobs can be found in underwater ruins and they can actually be found in baby variants and they can be found holding tridents and you may be able to get that trident if you have a looting three sword. Sunken ships will also be added in the Minecraft 1.13 update. If I go around the side here, you can actually see that this ship is on its side and if we go inside, we should be able to find chests or two or three and in these chests you'll find a variety of things and you may even be able to find buried treasure maps in one of the chests uh, let's see if we can find one now not all of them will have it obviously but we might be able to find one I don't think this one actually has one nope this one doesn't have a buried treasure map so I'll have to find another one for you Another thing that will be added are underwater ravines and caves and these will have underwater bubble columns in them. These ones are magma cube and magma block underwater columns and these suck you down into the ravine itself. Soul sand, the bubble columns if I can show you right here, will push you up towards the surface. So let me drag one into my inventory. I put this here, you can see if I stand on it, it will just shoot me straight up to the surface of the ocean, which is very nice actually. It's a very um, efficient way to travel in Minecraft 1.13 now. As I said in the beginning of this video, coral has been added to Minecraft 1.13 and right here we have a coral reef. You can see all of the varieties right here. Tall coral, short coral, box coral even. You can see all the fans on top of them. And scattered throughout you can see sea pickles that actually add some light into the coral reef as well. As I said before, drowned mobs can spawn around underwater ruins and we have one right here. It may be a small one, but it is a pretty cool one as well. We have a magma cube um, bubble column right here. And if we remove this block here, you can see that we have a chest and you do have a chance of finding a treasure map in these chests as well. I might reiterate that. And also I can show you this over here. This is a larger underwater beacon with a different um, structure to it, but it works just the same. And it does give you more distance on that um, conduit power as well. In fact, if we go over here, we will see an even bigger underwater ship right here. Look at this. This is a mon this is the best ship I've ever seen in Minecraft and as, of course we can go inside of it we can look into it we can open this door right here there should be a chest over here look at this we have an empty map right there and uh, we can go over here another chest here and yeah you can find buried treasure map but again again they are very rare so what i'll do i'll go into another one of my worlds and i'll show you what they actually look like Okay, so I've just jumped into one of my previous snapshot videos to show you a buried treasure map. So it's, as you can see in my inventory, I have a buried treasure map right here. If I select it and turn around, you can then see there is an X point to me directly to the treasure itself. So if we go, I know exactly where this um, treasure is, by the way. So <laughs> if we go in this direction, I think, you'll start to see the arrow go towards it. And we can turn and try and see where it is. It should be right around here. Now the bad thing about this these treasure maps is that it doesn't actually tell you where the treasure map, the treasure itself is, which is why you kind of need the dolphin because the dolphins tell you where it is. So you can see on here, it tells you that the treasure is right here, but you have no idea where it is. I mean, it's definitely not in the ship. It's not going to be in the ship because that's where you find the buried treasure maps. I can tell you that I've actually found this before, and the chest is right here, and you can see everything that's in here, heart of the sea. Uh, so, 
that is the very treasure maps in the Minecraft 1.13. Alright everyone, that is the end of my 1.13 overview video. All the information that you will need will be in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please leave a like and a comment down below if you liked this video. And subscribe for more of the Spotlight Overview Showcase videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.